and welcome to the application delivery how-to video series. My name is Andre McGlown, and today we're going to cover how to implement elastic scaling for your load balancer with no service impact on Avi. First, let's cover what happens when you do a scale-out operation on Avi. The primary SC will ARP for the VIP address of the virtual service. Once traffic has been determined to go beyond the capacity of a single SC, one or two operations can occur. A manual scaling of the virtual service or an auto scaling of the virtual service. Either way, once the operation has been started, Avi will do a few things. It will do an evaluation of the existing environment to see if there's an existing SE that has the capacity to host its virtual service. If not, a new SE will be deployed into the ecosystem. Either way, once the SE has been identified, Avi will pro program the appropriate networking to enable this virtual service to support, be supported on, on this service engine. Once the SE has been programmed with the virtual service, the primary SE will then begin to delegate some of the traffic to the other, the new SEs via L2 switching. These SEs will take some of that traffic and using SNAT, the backend servers will communicate directly with this SE and send the traffic back to the client directly. Let's take a look at this in operation. In this environment, we have a virtual service deployed. It's running on a single SE currently. We can see that our total time for traffic is roughly 1.5 seconds. And now we'll do a manual scale out of our op operation. We'll go to the virtual service, highlight the name, and choose scale out. We'll choose the VIP that we'd like to scale out and say scale out. What's happening now is Avi is doing that evaluation that I discussed before and programming the networking required to support this virtual service. Now that this virtual service has been scaled all across multiple SEs, we can take a look. We can now see that there are two SEs that this virtual service is running on. And the end-to-end -end timing associated with this virtual service has now decreased. We were roughly 1.2 1, 1. seconds before. Now we can see that time has decreased. To nine milliseconds. To scale this virtual service back in, we just do the same thing. Select that virtual service, select scale in at this time. Scale in the virtual service. Avi will determine which SE is no longer needed. Deprogram this virtual service from that SE and resume running on a single SE. Thanks for watching. Please check out our other exciting videos in our application delivery how-to series.